Hey ya! Jitif Hedlings here for a few words about Iron Glass and their lenses. If you've never heard of the name before, Iron Glass is a company in Ukraine that sells modified lenses. They started making their anamorphics after I posted the first few tutorials for modding USSR lenses, and today they deck them out way more intensely, converting the original mounts to a handful of options from EF to E mount and high end PL mounts. Their sets range from 3 to 7 lenses, 20mm, 28, 37, 58, 135, and 180, which is more than enough to shoot virtually anything. The set I got is modest and it features 4 lenses, 37, 58, 85, and 135. You can also get individual lenses, and while the customization options are not as diverse as dog shit optics used to be, you can still build awesome combinations. You can have the outside in black or silver. I picked silver because if I'm shooting something weird, I might as well just go full tilt with it. And inside, you can have a clean oval bokeh or tinted ones, either amber or purple, plus a streak flare. My set is amber with blue flares. Since these are advertised as cine lenses, they come with focus and iris gears, declicked apertures, and smooth rings. They also include custom backs and cine style front rings with threads defaulting to 77mm for all lenses in the set. A set will cost you between $1000 and $3000 depending on what you want. It beats most budget lens sets out there, including the super popular Rokinons. Why is Iron Glass so special? Because you can just throw them on your camera and start shooting anamorphic looking images right away. Or anamorphic, as I call it. And that has huge production value, but for a fraction of the cost of an actual anamorphic setup, and also without the headaches of actually shooting scope. I've been experimenting with Soviet lenses for almost 10 years now, and the one constant through my experience is that you can never know what to expect in terms of image quality and performances. The lenses I got from Iron Glass were in tip-top shape and sharper than the vast majority of the other USSR glass that passed through my hands. My only complaints are superficial compared to the big picture delivered by Iron Glass, but the devil lives in the details. First thing, my 58mm had the oval slightly misaligned, about 30 degrees clockwise. It was an easy fix, but if you're buying something new, you would expect to come in perfect shape from the manufacturer, right? The second thing is about the 37mm in PL mount, and I think this only happens in PL mount. PL lenses sit deeper in the camera, and that causes the focus gear to be right against the mount lock, making it challenging to operate it properly. The thickness and the height of the rings could be improved to standard sizes too, with the iris ring thinner and the focus ring thicker. Lastly, a funny note about these is that they are all much lighter than they look. Like, much lighter. <laughs> they are gorgeous and shiny, and you expect them to be metal. But many components are actually plastic, such as the gears and the hood. Making these out of metal will increase costs, but probably give them a better feel. Onto a serious topic. It is important to keep in mind that these are all operating way out of what they were originally designed for, and the tinting and the ovals and the different mounts, these are all special effects that can introduce unexpected behavior with the passing of time. The original lenses used for these are not made anymore, so we are inevitably headed to the disappearance of Helios and Jupiter 9s. That's all I have for today. Have you ever played with an iron glass lens? Have you ever played with anamorphaking? What are your thoughts? Please leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more videos about anamorphaking. If you want more footage and more info about them, check out the review by Vintage Lenses for video. See you next time. Chit Fadings out.